All right, we have to simplify this expression and we have to write the expression without any negative powers. So what we're gonna do is rewrite this expression using all multiplication. So what we're gonna do is write five x to the negative second multiplied by y multiplied by z to the zero power multiplied by this numerator of three x to the fourth multiplied by, well, notice that we're dividing this term right here. So what we're gonna do is take this term and move it to the other side of our fraction bar. Now, whenever moving a term with an exponent on the other side of the fraction bar, by rule, all you have to do is write the opposite of what that exponent is. Because it is currently positive four, we write that as y to the negative fourth. So this becomes three x to the fourth times y to the negative fourth. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is rewrite this using the commutative property of multiplication, which says we can multiply in any order. So what we're gonna do is start by writing our coefficients of five and three next to each other. And then we're gonna write all of our x terms next to each other. So we're gonna write x to the negative second times x to the positive fourth times y to the first power. Even though there's no exponent there, there's really a one there, times y to the negative fourth power times z to the zero power. Now, the reason I did this is so we can take advantage of our exponent rules, which says that when we multiply bases that are the same, we can simply add their exponents. All right, so we have a product of five and three, which is 15. Now we have x to the second power because negative two and positive four is positive two times y to the negative third because positive one and negative four is negative three and anything to the zero power is one. Now, if we write times one here, one times everything else is what everything else is. So we don't have to bring this term down because we would end up not using that one. All right, now remember, we have to write this expression with no negative powers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a fraction bar and we're going to move this term on the other side. But remember, when moving a term to the other side with an exponent, we have to write the opposite of that exponent. So this becomes y to the positive third. So our final answer is 15x squared divided by y cubed.